this is a short video about how to get a piece of string through a piece of water pipe so that you can pull cables through it and the piece of water pipe then will act as a conduit in the ground. You can run power cables, communications cables, all sorts of things through this but try to get a cable through a long length of this pipe without a piece of string through already is impossible unless you cut the pipe up into short little lengths. So this is a video about how to get this piece of string through a long length of pipe. Right, this is the other end. The other end of the, the pipe. It's about inch diameter. And we want to get two big fat cables through there. So the first thing to do is to and attach a hoover to that end. And if the pipe's a bit smaller, then use some duct tape to seal that off. So that's that. So we'll switch the hoover on. So the hoover's sucking here. So again, I'll just show you this. piston. Ready? I'll just do that again. So that means I've been walking backwards and forwards pulling all this string out. So there's the piston. Watch carefully now. Can you trick? There we go. Now it's important to run the hoover for a while before you do this just to draw sort of drier air through the pipe just to dry the inside of the pipe a bit and of course this is perfect for conduit when you want big fat cables to go across a lawn or some area like that across to your solar panels and this will keep the protect the cables keep them dry because you've got DC coming through this and so therefore if you've got damp, any imperfection in the cable will of course uh, start creating electrolysis and I have known in the past where the cable just over a period of time just rots away completely even though it's copper so there you go, it's very easy, very quick so once you've got this thin string through you would of course pull some thicker string through and then pull the cable through and if the pipe allows it, always pull another piece of string through as well just in case if you want to pull something else through after the fact like a phone line or some control cables or anything like that so it works very well and we're back to the start now where we at the start of the video so we just switch the hoover on and open this up and there's the string and the piston. Polystyrene of course won't absorb moisture so it's ideal and it doesn't have to be that brilliant but it has to be reasonable. Reasonable fit. The piece of wire is an easy way of attaching the string to the piston because the piece of wire will just push gently through the polystyrene. Leave a comment if you find this interesting.